Hello and welcome to Enterclimate. My name is Shalin and in today's video, we will be understanding the benefits of obtaining a CPCB license for waste management. So any industrial unit that generates industrial waste and thereby releases pollutants in any form into the environment needs a registration and a CPCB license for waste management to legally function in the country. However, as the country's urban population is expanding, the waste generated by industries that are manufacturing products and households that are using and discarding these products after the end of their life is increasing. This waste is not only limited to municipal waste but also includes distinctive wastes such as hazardous waste, e-waste, plastic waste, tire waste, construction and demolition waste, biomedical waste, etc. The Center Pollution Control Board surveys and monitors the pollution causing human activities and tries to maintain the health of water and air in the country. While CPCB is the nodal authority in the country for waste management, it has delegated many of its responsibilities to the State Pollution Control Boards and the Pollution Control Committees as this ensures a check mechanism at the source of waste generation. The license for waste management activities with a pan-India applicability are issued by the CPCB. The CPCB has also significant role in EPR authorization for producer, importers and brand owners, giving authorization to producer responsibility organizations or PROs, environmental clearance for projects that have been notified under the EIA notification of 2006, export and import authorization for hazardous waste management, export and import authorization for e-waste, export and import authorization for plastic waste management, export and import authorization for plastic waste, certification to compostable plastic product sellers and manufacturers, providing battery import licenses for all kinds of batteries. Now let's look at the roles and responsibilities of CPCB in waste management in the country. The application process for issuing licenses and authorization for waste management, registration, of entities and managing the EPR obligations are being made digital by introducing centralized online portals that the CPCB manages. However, the benefits of obtaining a CPCB license for waste management are many apart from its essential requirement for running your business. The principal functions of the CPCB have been given under the Water Act and the Air Act that includes promoting cleanliness of water resources, improving the quality of air, advising the central government on issues related to pollution and its control, providing dispute redressal and technical assistance to the SPCBs, managing mass awareness programs on controlling air pollution and water pollution, issuing new quality standards for stream, wells and air. Now for businesses that already exist in the waste management sector and entrepreneurs who want to start a new business in this sector, it is beneficial to know the advantages they have after getting a waste management license from CPCB, which we will be discussing in the next part of this video. Let's start with the benefits of EPR authorization. So as per the e-waste management rules of 2016, CPCB can grant, renew or refuse EPR authorization to producers of electrical and electronic equipments listed in Schedule 1 of the rules. Similarly, EPR authorization is also required by producers of plastics, battery and tires. As per the latest amendments to the hazardous waste management rules and the battery waste management rules, the producers have been identified as this, uh, entities responsible for managing waste generated through the end of life of their products. Next, let us understand the benefits of authorization given to producer responsibility organization to manage EPR for the PIBOs. By allowing the PROs to handle the responsibility of waste management, the recyclers and the dismantlers got an opportunity to become PROs and grow their business. This step also helped to keep the cost of the new products low. Now it is important for entrepreneurs and businesses in waste management sector to understand that while CPCB has delegated the responsibility of authorization and licensing to the concerned SPCBs, it is still the nodal authority and it issues different licenses as discussed above. Therefore, a clear idea of whom to approach becomes essential for entrepreneurs that seek environment related licenses and permits for their waste management businesses. Guidance and assistance from licensing experts who can manage such legalities proves to be a time saving and economically sound practice. if one is seeking a CPCB license for waste management. This is where Interclimate can assist you with your business. 
We at Ender Climate are the leading environmental consultancy company renowned for its technologically driven solutions for a wide range of environmental licensing and compliance services. So that was all for this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please like and share. You can also contact our CPCB licensing experts from the details provided below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more startup ideas and business solutions. Thank you.